Hey guys, this is Lego Geek 197 and today we're reviewing another paper creation of mine. Um my next video I'm gonna be doing instructions for phobia and the shredder head. And that'll be back me, me getting back into Lego. But today we're just gonna do a review of my movie Bumblebee from the first three movies. So I spent about three hours trying to make this creation. And it turned out pretty nice to my amazement. So yeah, and yeah, it has wheels, unlike my movie Prime, which I made, the video I made yesterday. But the front windshield is black. Usually this can't stand up on itself, because it's a spoiler, so I use tape so that way it holds together. You got the front grill, the Chevy sign, the big stripes for that mark him as Bumblebee. Coming to this side, you got the same thing, and you got the headlights, and you got... The two, uh, you can't, it's really, they're gray, like those exhaust pipes. And coming around to the bottom, all the robot stuff is in there. So let's bring this for the size comparisons. We got Movie Prime. Yeah, you can see how they scale together. Now let me get my bumble. You can see how they scale together. This is a good scale, I guess. Then we'll bring in G1 Prime. And you can see he's still very big. And just for a teaser, we have, um, where? There it is. Um,. This is just a teaser, robot mode, shockwave. Yeah, that's just a teaser. Okay, so let's get Prime out of the way and let's get to, oh yeah, instructions on this guy I might do because he's really easy to make. Just just three pieces of cut out paper. So then let's just transform him. So first thing I'm gonna do is come out to the bottom, just extend everything and you can see it's cut down the middle. And you'll see why that is later. And now extend everything, the arms. As you can see, there is just a big robot lying in there. Like so. And now we'll move on to the big shell of the car. So the first thing I want to do is fold in the grill, the front part of the car. Lift the spoiler off from that. And plug this in. So now that's plugged in. And yeah, that's plugged in. So now what we're gonna do is a big origami trick. Fold the spoiler in, and then fold the side windows in, and fold that in. Like so. That's gonna fold in. That's gonna fold in. And there, you got his, and then you're gonna fold in the um, grill underneath that whole assembly. And the next thing you wanna do is take this big wheel section, fold it up, and like let the arms flop down. Okay. There we go. Let's tab in pretty well. Okay. Here, let me get my his legs down. There we go. Now coming around to the back. It's on this one piece of tape. Untab it from there. And now, these will rotate outward. Like so. To become his little door wings. You can see I colored the, that in as his little door wings, and though it's not that it's good, it's colored. And there you have Bumblebee in this robot mode. And yeah, I'm really proud of how I made it. Even though it's a big shell, it just turns into a big ro robot. <laughs> like so. And yeah, the door wings just are like that big shell. I, the back is no color whatsoever. Because you don't really. It's not really important with the back. 
coming in, you see his little head, and that red thing is the Autobot logo. We got his fake chest, and his abdomen section, hips, and his legs. Also, my original prime plan was to um take the grill and just fold it down onto this, making his chest, but then I wouldn't work for the door wings. So yeah, I just made this for the door wings. The door wings are just black and yellow, signaling that, and the wheels, and there are some wheel parts in the body, which actually make it look better. So, yeah, I'm gonna bring in Prime. And here we got Prime. And you can see how they scale. Uh, right here. You can see Prime's a bit, bit, Prime's like, I'm gonna, I can't bring this on camera. But Prime is, um, actually, wait, let me get a stand. Just give me a minute. You got your stand. Now we can probably stand this guy up. Yep, there we go. And we got Prime. Mm. Yeah, Bumblebee's very short compared to Prime, which is actually is accurate to the movie. Okay, let's go to articulation. Head moves up and down, and he also got these little things that come out of his chest, arms. And elbow bend and wrist bend. No weapons again. Got the thigh movement because he has now hips into like prime. Got the knee and he got flip. Wow. You can see the Chevy thing a little bit there. This abdomen. Unlike prime, I could make this guy look a bit more better because it's a big shell. Which I like. You know, just like how everything just folds into his back without having having the big backpack, and just makes his little door rings. You know, they're a bit long. If I just but if I fold them in, then they wouldn't make more sense. So yeah. So yeah, this is um, Bumblebee, from uh, actually yeah, I forgot one more size comparison just just for fun. Even though I know it's gonna be two auto scale, we just got G1 Prime. Yep. Yeah, so, as I was saying, this, um, please subscribe and like, but don't hit the notification bell. And this is Lego Geek 197 signing out.